So I immediately get a question of what, what, what do you mean overshooting? Well, you see the airplane and the runway, okay? So the airplane turns base to final and they're past the runway. So they got to pull it back in to the left to make a good landing. Okay, when you pull it back in, here comes another guy right behind him. That, that, that's, and he overshot the runway too. Look, he's to the right of the runway. You can tell because he's got a crab, he's crabbing it back in. It's like, it's happened to 90% of the airplanes I watched land today. And it's not a big deal unless you're throwing, unless you're, oh, look, there's a guy on the runway. That's dangerous. Why would, I don't know, man. That was, that was ill-advised. Guy's still on the runway and the guy's touching down behind him. Uh, they're busy. They got two more planes lined up to take off over here. But, um, so, the question uh, of overshooting the runway means that you can see how straight the runway is. It's, it's a box pattern, so you're flying downwind, then you go from downwind to base, and then, and that's a left-hand turn, and then base to final is, another, is the last left-hand turn. That last turn is super dangerous if you're, if you're slow and you overshoot the runway and you're trying to pull it back in. More often than not, you should do a go-around. You need to practice go-arounds, too. That's an important thing to know how and when to do. Anyway, overshooting the runway, it's uh, very dangerous, period.